girls so before starting today i want to ask you a question that you like you always look forward for a positive review like you check for the review a review if it's good or not and you find that it's a very good product and you get excited wow this this worked for this girl or this blogger and you immediately immediately go to try for yourself as well but if you uh, if you check the same like uh, for a product and you find that it didn't work and you feel like oh my god no it didn't work then do you think that uh, negative reviews are should also be done but i think yes because uh, because negative reviews even though it did it wasted so much of money for the, of the blogger but it di- it does help for help others save money so today i have one product that wasted my money but i hope that will save yours so what is that product i have and i've tried so can you guess what is this i'm sure you guessed that it's a lip balm or lip cream but can you guess which brand this one is well actually while i ordered this one uh, it took so much of time to deliver so i almost forgot what i ordered so when i opened the box and box my parcel and i saw this one i was like what is this what what brand is this i even couldn't know well this sh- it there's supposed to be a sticker here but it's it was missing i got it like this then then i checked the checked my card history and got then i uh, remembered that it it's a vedic line chocolate flavored lip cream so let's get started with the review quickly this one cost 85 rupees for 10 grams and this one is not available offline i bought it online and uh, there's no information or claims mentioned on the product at all first of all i would like to say that when this product reached me i felt like what is this and from which brand is it there was no sticker no brand name it, name on it at all i thought i got a wrong product and checked my shopping history once again but no i got the right product but it seems uh, it seems got the one without sticker on it i can't show you the sticker which is supposed to be on the lid but it actually exists this slip pin comes in a tub packaging which isn't hygienic at all i totally hate lip creams or products in tubs since i need to dip my finger in it and then apply it to my lips if i need to reapply i have to dip the same finger into it to take out the product which is not at all hygienic so i recommend you to take out the required amount of the product in one go if you still feel you need to dip your finger again please dip another finger moreover if you are carrying this out then using it in public doesn't seem so good i prefer using it at home only due to its packaging The tub is um, made up of transparent glass and it has a black plastic transparent screw type of lid which can be closed tightly so there's uh, not much risk of the product coming out when you are carrying it in your bag. It is definitely travel friendly but uh, do not drop it so often since I once dropped it and saw slight damage on the bottom part of the tub like any glass tub may get but still It didn't damage too much. So overall the packaging packaging is okay other than the unhygienic part of tub packaging. The color of the lip cream as you can see in the picture is little lighter than a regular chocolate. So even in the terms of color it couldn't really impress me. It wasn't that tempting to me when I opened it. The texture of the lip cream is creamy as the name says, but due to its texture, it's not easily blendable at all. So I prefer a lip balm which isn't that creamy. However, I do like creamy products than those with thin consistency. The fragrance isn't strong and is less chocolatey which slightly disappointed me again. I expected it to smell like a dairy milk chocolate. <laughs> but this was more of any creamy skincare product 
So this could be a cocoa butter fragrance, which I'm not much sure. I really expected it to smell like chocolate as soon as I opened the lid. When I first time applied it, I really got de depressed since it isn't blendable at all. You need to rub your finger against your lips for a while to make the cream get into your lips. If you have dry and flaky lips, then you need to exfoliate them first and then apply it, else your lips won't absorb it at all. This isn't that moisturizing as well, even though it is creamy. So if you haven't, uh, if you don't have much dry lips, then you can try it, else please skip it. I have dry lips and I mostly use Maybelline lip balms since they are the best. If you want, I will review them soon. I got this one to try and use it in the nights or when I'm at home but unfortunately it couldn't moisturize my lips that good. However, for the price the quantity is quite more and it moisturizes averagely. If you have low budget then you can use it while at home like me and carry a better one while going out. And this is also preferred only when you don't have dry lips which needs frequent moisturization. I should also mention that you need to reapply frequently unlike many good lip balms. So till I finish this product, I'm going to use it before going to bed only. It also lacks SPF due to which I don't recommend using it in the daytime at all. You can include this as a budget buy but I think there are many better products for this price. So let's check the pros. So this is an affordable, it is, un, uh, it is a budget buy and this, is, this has tight packaging, it's travel friendly, it has good shelf life enough and it has goodness of cocoa butter, glycerin and vitamin E. Coming to cons, due to creamy texture it isn't easily blendable and this is not suitable for dry and flaky lips. The color and fragrance aren't tempting like chocolate and this needs to be reapplied every few hours. Will I repurchase it? No, since this isn't suitable for my dry lips at all. I'm not even going to try other lip creams from this range but if you want me to review them as well, I may do it for review purpose only. Will I recommend it? No, since there are better lip uh, lip balms available for this price or even cheaper. I don't think even a girl with low budget may need it. You can go for better options. Well, I hope you liked my review even if it's negative one. But uh, yeah, if you still want to buy this one then it must be only for the chocolate uh, chocolate flavor. That's it but nothing. it, it does nothing so. I am not going to even uh, review any of this range, if whatever range this range consists of, but I am not going to uh, even try. So consider all those things as negative from my side. So this was this is it for today, till the next, re uh, next review or next video, bye bye.